Hello world, my name is Mohit Desponde, and in this video we're going to talk about brightness and contrast. So, I know, how do we apply these to images? Well, here's an example. And what brightness and contrast really are, are these different constants in this function here. So, this alpha you see here is what the contrast actually is, and this beta you see here is actually the brightness. And this f of x is supposed to represent the input image, and this g of x is the output image. So basically what happens is when we apply brightness and contrast to an image, we multiply it by some alpha. For each pixel value, you multiply it by some alpha and then add some, add some beta. So how do we actually do this computationally? Well, what we do is we first have to convert the matrix into an array of bytes. Then we have to perform that operation on each pixel, and that would be to multiply it by the alpha and add the uh, beta. And then we have to put the byte back into the matrix. Well, wow, that sounds really, really complicated. Is there, uh, an, is there, is open to see if you have a way to make this much simpler? The answer is yes. We use this add weighted. And here is what add weighted actually does. So what I'm gonna do here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down that equation. So it's alpha times source one plus beta times source two plus gamma. And uh, what I want you guys to do is find a way to convert this into our, I'll kind of qualify this by alpha prime. This little mark here is called the prime mark. So this is alpha, this is alpha prime. And this is still f of x. And this will then have to be beta prime. If you want, you could really replace these values with anything else. But your objective is you're given this alpha prime, beta prime, and f of x. You, what you want to do is make these two equations look like each other. So, you know, for what values of alpha, source 1, beta, source 2, and gamma, do you need to set these two? one of these or a constant such that you get the uh, g of x equation from this. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, you can go ahead and pause the video and um, come back when you have a, a solution and then I'll share with you my solution. Okay, so to get this configuration up, what you want to do is set alpha equal to alpha prime. So these two are just a one to one mapping. SRC1 is going to be f of x, right? Now, here's the part where you have to be kind of creative. Beta should actually be equal to zero. And then it doesn't really matter what SRC2 is set to because then this entire term here is canceled out, right? And then finally, you want to set gamma equal to beta prime. So now what I should get is I should get this g of x equals this first parameter here, alpha prime f of x plus zero plus beta prime, and lo and behold, that works out to be exactly this equation, exactly that brightness and contrast equation, and that's exactly what we're going to do for our, um, for our approach to brightness and contrast. Instead of having to set each particular, um, you know, each particular byte to do that annoying computation, we're just going to use this add weighted, right? So 
alpha is going to be alpha. The um, so in order to use, you still have to put in a valid uh, source two. In this case, um, we're going to be using a NumPy because the way OpenCV represents things, everything is represented as a NumPy matrix. So we're just going to use a NumPy matrix of zeros. It's just going to be the same shape as the um, original image. And for this here, we're going to pass in zero. And for this gamma, we're actually going to pass in the original beta. So then that will successfully reduce this down to this. So now we don't even have to do that annoying computation. We can just use this method call like this. And that will apply brightness and contrast. And in the next video, we're going to see how we can do that um, in Python. So I hope to see you all in the next video.